I've stayed up with you all night, but still haven't seen anything. When was she last sleepwalking? She has been doing it ever since Macbeth went out to the battlefield. I see her get out of bed, put on her dressing gown, open her desk, take out paper, write down on it, read it, seal it, and again return to her bed, fast asleep the entire time. This is extremely unusual. While she is sleepwalking, aside from the note-taking, does she speak or do anything else at any time? That, sir, I won't repeat after her. You must do so, and it is perfectly proper for you to tell me this. It will help. The lady does not feel comfortable telling any more details to the doctor, for there were not any other witnesses to verify. Lady Macbeth enters with a flashlight sleepwalking. The doctor and lady keep out of her way and watch her actions. Where does she get the flashlight? She always has a light near her bed. It is her order. Notice that her eyes are open. Yes, but they have no ability to perceive anything. What is she doing now? Look how she rubs her hands. It is a habit with her. She seems to scrub away at them for a quarter of an hour. The gentlewoman and doctor watches Lady Macbeth viciously washes her hands, all the while in her sleep. Still here, a stain, out down spot, wash out, I say. One, two, why then it's time to do the murder. Hell is dark and obscure. Can you be a soldier and still be afraid? Why should we care who knows about it when none, no one dares to question our actions and call us on account? And yet, who would have thought that Duncan could have so much blood in him? Listen to that. I will write all that down to make sure of my memory. Did you hear that? Macduff, Thane of Fife, had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ever be clean? No more. Oh, that, my lord, no more. You ruin it with this nervousness. Come, come. You have heard what we should not hear. I'm certain she has said more than enough. Only heaven knows what she knows. I can still smell the blood. All the perfumes of Arabia will no, not make my hands sweet again. Oh, oh, oh. Her heart is extremely burdened. The lady and doctor cannot imagine what Lady Macbeth is going through. They continue to listen and watch her actions. I pray to God that all be well. This illness is beyond my medical skill. Nevertheless, I've known of sleepwalkers who die in their beds. Wash your hands, Macbeth. Put on your nightgown. Don't look so pale. Again, I tell you, Banquo's buried. He cannot rise from the dead. That, too. The doctor is astonished. They continue watching. Go to bed, Macbeth. Someone is knocking at the gate. Come with me. Come, come. Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed, to bed. Will she go to bed now? Immediately. Ugly rumors are flying about. Abnormal actions can produce abnormal disturbances. Those with tainted minds will confess their secrets to death pillows. She needs a priest, not a doctor. God forgive us all. Take care of her. Take anything dangerous away from her, and keep a constant eye on her. So good night. She's baffled my mind and bewildered my eyes. I have opinions, dear lady, but don't say a word. Good night, good doctor. They exit and leave their new knowledge untold.